Once you've created a Scorefolio account and you're ready to create a score video, hit the Create button on the top right corner of the page. Type in the title of the piece, then drag and drop both the audio and the score of your composition into the file drop zone, then click Upload Files. Please be patient as Scorefolio automatically rasterizes your PDF into optimal resolution images. Now let's fill out the metadata for your piece. In the Instrument drop-down menu, locate all the instruments featured in your piece and add them by clicking the respective checkboxes. Note that you may start typing out the name of your instrument to find it faster. The more accurate your list, the more likely other musicians may discover it using the same search criteria. Do the same for ensemble type, number of performers, and year of composition. If applicable, add your publisher and label names, as well as the performer attributions, to the following fields. Understand that you must have secured permissions beforehand from copyright holders, otherwise your music may be removed from Scorefolio. Then add any program notes you would like to display. Finally, choose an attractive page from your score to display as a thumbnail whenever someone searches your work. Click Update. We are now ready to follow the score. Let's first take inventory of our score video editor features. In the center, we have what looks like a standard video player. This video player, however, is special in that it is optimized to function like a slideshow player, which is perfect for our needs. You can think of each page of your musical score as a slide, and your goal is to place those slides at the appropriate positions throughout your audio timeline. On the right hand side of our editor, we have our list of slides, each one representing a page of the PDF. For every slide, there's a drop down letting you specify what type of page it is. In this example, I have a title page and five pages of notated music. I'm going to mark my title page as a note, and I'd do the same if I had performance and program notes as well. This way, these pages won't display in the video as one of the timed slides, but they'll be available to view asynchronously if anyone clicks on the notes icon. Likewise, if I had blank pages or any other pages I don't want displayed in the score video at all, I can mark those as hidden. You may also notice that as I select different slides, that slide will populate the pop-up that displays above the playhead when it is paused, prompting us to drop it in the timeline. Likewise, by selecting different slides, the little bouncing arrow on our timeline jumps to different marked positions. Those marked dots show where the selected slide currently exists within the timeline. By default, they all start clustered at the end of the work, which makes it easier for us to place the slides in real time. In fact, a better way to conceptualize the score video editing process is that you are simply nudging the queued up slides one by one from the end of the piece leftwards to the current position of the paused video playhead. Now let's make sure that the first page of our score is selected and our playhead cursor is at the beginning in a paused state. Click drop slide to set the first page of the score to the 0 minutes and 0 seconds timestamp. Notice that the next slide is automatically selected, prompting us to place the next page of our music into the timeline. All we need to do is press play, then pause where the next page turn should start, and click drop slide. Once we've repeated this process for every page of the score, we're ready to set it live. To do that, go to Edit Details, then set the visibility to public and hit Update. Your video is now searchable on Scorefolio and ready to embed and share online.